what you were saying. It's like when you flip it, it's going to go. To how far do you go back? I thought it was going Here's down. Here's another thing, though. Don't, don't disregard your basics of training. Mm. Right. And the basics of training is if 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 it's above and below and all mm -hmm. of that, but then here's an area of consolidation. So to answer some of y'all's questions, here's the market. How high do you think it's gonna go? Probably to the ceiling here. Okay, so it plays in that ceiling floor. So that's why I like to see consolidation. Consolidation is breaks. And it always breaks out of consolidation at some to some degree, or it always goes up out of consolidation and things like that. So when you decide how far does it go and all this stuff, now this is granted that you're taking this trade on your own, which you shouldn't do, especially less than six or nine months in the game. Don't do that. Make sure somebody else in the trade too, because if they're in it, it's probably really going to happen. You know, or something's going to happen, or an educator, or hey, I say I might be in it. Hopefully, I'm right. And you know, or any of our tools and stuff. So, and if you want Bitcoin trades, you gotta go on the harmonic scanner, you gotta go on the X, um, under um, JFX, I was about to say XM. JFX is the only broker that scans for cryptocurrency. So the other ones, you won't find this. So don't be on your own on an island and oh, I'm gonna watch this up, I'm gonna do this lag line, do all this stuff. Back test it to trades that you're in, back test it to trades that someone's called, Stevenson or Dr. Kathy, whatever, Chris Derrick, whoever you watch, back test the lagging line. They said buy, go and see. Or if you're in it, start to apply it that way. Don't apply to your real money until you master it. Take the trades for free from the other stuff and make money there and use this to see if you're getting better. Mark the floors and the ceilings and you'll see that this is about how high it's gonna go. Mm. And then it's gonna reverse. Because every impulse move will always have a correction anyway. So if it's gonna go up, it's gotta go back down. It's not gonna go up, go up, go up. It might, but at some point it has to correct. Right. And so at that point you've gotta determine. I'm about to make the game even easier in closure and I wanna answer more questions before I run, but um, if we've got above buy, we got sell below, we got all that, we got if the things cross, it's probably gonna move the opposite direction with at least 10 pips you could gain. Um, or a complete change direction. If it's above in the Tinkinson and Keyesian cross, I've removed them, then it's gonna go down, okay? We know that. We now know that we can trace the lagging line. Now don't completely come way over here and trace it. Trace it at least to the next immediate space. Rather, so for example, it's here. I can't necessarily say, David, that all of this will happen, but I know a good portion will. Right. Okay. At some point, you gotta still apply the basics and don't forget mm. that support and resistance stuff. Now, I'm gonna add another piece to the pie now. Stop paying attention so much to these candles and use what the Japanese use. These Haganashi candles. You can't use them on your phone in trading you or on your uh, or MetaTrader 4 on your computer. You can, not on your phone. Why do I use this? And I'm gonna go over entry with this, and I'm also gonna go over um, in general how to use these in general. But let's say you are watching your trade, because man, it just bothers me to leave my trade going. I want to pay attention. Okay, the Heikinashi candles, if you zoom out, will blur. Okay, it looks like a blob. Mm. See how it's blobbing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll show you normal current candles. See how much change is happening? For some reason, the change bothers you and it throws you off. You see all of the red, and then I'll switch back again. Let's watch right there. Mm. Sometimes you mm. start seeing this change here, mm. Mm. and it'll trip you out. Mm. So you're like, oh, it's about to switch market on me. It's not always dramatic. It depends on the time frame you're looking at. It's not always dramatic, but notice there's more red bunched together. There's more green bunched together and there's less inconsistency out of the colors. Mm. What does that mean though? Why do I like Hakanashi candles, especially with the, with the cloud here, is when you see candles shrinking in size, let me find a good example. This is a build up in size, see it? Build up. This one's actually even better. 
You see mm. small, 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 then it starts building up. That build up is momentum. Mm. Once you start seeing some consistency mm. in momentum, it's gonna go up. And look, there were some red candles that came, but that's not that much momentum. So you're not worried about it. And you're not worried about it anyway, it's about the clock. Watch this. Momentum, momentum, it kept building momentum. Now you thought that something was gonna happen, this is just consolidation. Then it got more momentum. Okay? And then, doji. Doji. Every, time doji. every time the smaller candles, the ones that kind of, it's got sticks on top and bottom, those are called dojis. The only candle formation you need to remember, because these candles do have names when they're next to each other, when they're different shapes, the only one you need to remember are dojis. Dojis. They got long wicks on the bottom, and they got long wicks on the top. With, with Haikanashi, they're going to change directions. Like this one. Yep. Yep. And then this one. And, 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 it's not always. It's it, it, it's but here's the thing. It's 90%. Here's the dojis here. It's 10 of them. So I, I, I look at them every up. day. <laughs> Listen, they. Awesome. I look at them here's every the day. It's, but it's not 100% accurate, but it's like 90. But remember, you still got the cloud anyway. And the lag line. So you add this on top of now, you got 10 confirmations because hopefully somebody called it out you didn't do it on your own you mark support and realize that's a floor it's got to go up that's the second confirmation third you've got cloud lagging line da -da 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 -da. now you start piecing all this together but here's the thing if you were to watch this you would see uh oh doji plus there's no more big green candles they're gone and then I got a second red candle, and that's a neat, that's a decent size. It opened and closed bigger than that doji. Now momentum has changed. Momentum has changed. Then, uh-oh, red, less momentum out of the red. Now it's back again. Now it's pretty even. You probably wouldn't take this one. Uh-oh, maybe possible momentum? Maybe, and if it's sold, you would have to be out here. Green momentum, nothing, nothing, nothing. A lot of momentum. Pay attention to the sizes. As they get smaller, it's no momentum. You don't really want to trade in consolidation anyway. You I'm also, sure you also, well, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I see on that because the color is not as important on the cloud as this line. Mm -hmm. That's why you see buy, but it broke below, so I'm not looking for buy signals. And look, here's a peak, and here's a crazy drop. Mm. So it still happened, okay? It still happened. Now the rest of this, you just gotta keep seeing it. You gotta back test. Remember, the cloud is not 100% accurate. It's above 80 to 90. Though. And remember, if you're getting 80 to 90% accurate, mm. that's better than anything. And you use this to do your entries, don't you? Like, that's how I use Hakanashi, and that's what I want to show you in the very end. I want to make sure mm. you get the gist of it. That no momentum, momentum. Let's say this the first candle, okay? I mean, this candle and crazy momentum mm -hmm. happened. So see, you can miss, you can miss a couple of candles. 